man, this is all just one big yank. It seems like more and more people are getting hip to that, that it's not two parties and it's not of, by, and for the people in any way. It's just corporate self-interest and everything they do is to protect themselves from any sort of judgment or any kind of responsibility or accountability. Yeah, I mean, I would agree with that. I think I, I'm not as optimistic about um, how many Americans are recognize it. I think the, you know, mainstream media. Oh, a please lot of... fake it with me because I get so depressed that nobody gets it. <laughs> Everybody else is still in this IHOP or a lot of people, you know. How would we are... break it? I don't know how you unravel an orthodoxy because information doesn't do it. People are totally impervious to facts. A friend of mine is a psychiatrist. Uh, I said to them, how do you persuade somebody who is completely subsumed in that kind of religious-like belief system? Yeah. Because if you challenge somebody on their religion, you know, it just makes them dig in. Yeah. And he said, that's a feature of every orthodoxy. That it's impervious to facts. It's impervious to any kind of external um, stimulus. And that he said the only way that you can do it is through the Socratic method of you don't fight back, you just ask questions. And as long as you keep doing that and you don't fight them on it, but just say, is that this is what you expected the benefit to be from it, you know? And is that working for you? And to do it in a way that's gentle and non-confrontational so that you can, so that people maybe are stimulated to begin asking questions on their own.